how to fix Android Auto not working or not connecting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go into the settings on your Android phone and fix any issues you have where Android Auto is not connecting when you turn on your car or when you get into your car. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So it's pretty easy to fix this. The first thing I would recommend doing is simply restarting your Android phone. This can clear out any memory issues, things like that. And you can easily do that by swiping down from the top right and then just selecting the power button and selecting restart. Once you've rebooted your phone, if you're still having the issue where Android Auto is not automatically connecting, we can open up the settings on our phone by simply swiping up from the bottom and then finding settings and selecting it. Once in the settings, all we need to do is select connected devices near the top and you just want to scroll down to the bottom of connected devices and select Android Auto. Once Android Auto comes in, go ahead and select connect a vehicle and you want to go through the process of making sure that you repeat this step of connecting your device via a USB cable or using wireless. So make sure you connect your vehicle. Once you've done that, go down to start up Android Auto automatically and select that. And if this is currently set to if used on last drive or default, go ahead and change it to always. Changing to always can make it more reliable for it to connect. Additionally, I recommend turning on start Android Auto while locked. This will mean that you don't have to have your Android phone unlocked for it to connect Android Auto. Once we've done that, go back to the main page of the settings here, and we just want to scroll down until we get to apps. Should be near the bottom. Go ahead and select apps. In the list of apps, you want to find Android Auto, and you could search at the top if you don't find it near the top, but it shouldn't be near the top. Select Android Auto. And the first thing I recommend doing is going into the permissions for Android Auto. And you just want to make sure that nothing is not allowed. When you scroll down, if you see not allowed and there's anything under here, select that and then change that to allow. Because if there's anything that's not allowed, that can prevent Android Auto from functioning correctly. So now we can go back to the app info for Android Auto. And what I recommend doing is going ahead and selecting storage and then just selecting clear cache. Once you've cleared the cache, you can go back. And then I recommend doing force stop and closing it. So now what I recommend doing is going back to your home screen on your phone and you wanna find the Google Play Store. It may be in the list of apps here. So go ahead and open up the Google Play Store and we're just gonna search Android Auto. Go ahead and find Android Auto, open it up. And if it says update, select update. And this will download the latest version of Android Auto to your Android phone. And once it's done installing, try reconnecting, see if this fixes your connection issues with Android Auto. If you're still having issues, go ahead and reboot your phone one more time and that should fix this issue. So hopefully now you've fixed Android Auto not connecting or not working. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.